to Jalen Johnson. He stayed active a week ago with an eight-tackle performance. It's the Bears and the Pats under the lights on Monday night. From a venue that's been sold out since it opened back in 2002, there's a look at the home of the Patriots, Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Tonight, we close out week seven with a good Monday night matchup between the Chicago Bears and the New England Patriots. Brandon Gordon joined as always by Charles Davis. The CD, you look at the Bears in this one, and they know that they are in for a fight here. And anytime you're dealing with the number one defense in the league, all through your preparation, you know that yards are going to be tough to come by. But working in their favor, they can run the football. One of the top five teams in the league in that category. So I expect this one to be a tight, hard-hitting affair and both teams playing to their strengths. is underway on EA Sports. Now here come the Bears, and at the helm is someone that they have a lot of hopes for leading this franchise. The 11th pick in 2021 out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. Okay, I'm not taking a turn to negative town, even though it's going to sound like it. The two interceptions he threw last week, those obviously have to be eliminated, and that was the focus of practice this week. But let's face it, he did throw three touchdown passes. And they got the win. And they got the win. So I think it was a good week for him to work on things. Had some positives. The win being first and foremost. Now he's just got to eliminate those interceptions. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Just like that, it's a gain of 12 and a first down on their first play. One play action, Fields sliding out of the pocket. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Throwing again on second down, Fields flush to his right. Shifts by him, and he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The numbers on the ground for Montgomery in last week's affair. North of 100 yards, the two scores. And, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to the O-line. We talked a lot about him, but offensive line was good, too. They're obviously in sync with each other, whether it's zone blocking, power running game, no matter what. He understands how to read them and find the creases that they provide. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. From the gun, here's Fields. Over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 19. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And you use the proper word there, dependable. And sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage. But right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, Took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. It's a gain of five, but they're still deep in a hole. 15 yards still to go on third down. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on 
third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle was made at the 18-yard line. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Santos' kick is up and through, and it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. Even though they didn't find the end zone, they have to be pretty pleased with how they moved the ball on the ground because we know that that was one of their big goals in this game. And that really goes through the entire offense because when you're running the ball effectively, just about everyone's involved. It's not just the guy carrying the football. It's everyone blocking for him, both inside and on the perimeter. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. A time for Mac Jones and his Patriot offense to take the field. Jones now in his second season since being selected 15th overall in 2021. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some, they threw it accurately. One touchdown pass, so he didn't, you know, break the bank doing that, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that doesn't put them in bad situations. They run with a rookie from Florida, Damian Pierce. Now he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy set the turn early. Ran through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Throwing Jones. They'll get this to his tight end. It's Jonu Smith. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. The numbers there in last week's game for Smith. Four catches, 86 yards. This defense is ranked near the bottom of the league against the pass. You get the sense that he feels like if he gets covered on any call, he's going to be upset. He thinks he should be open on every snap in this game. After one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Now Jones. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Picked up by D.J. Reed, and the Bears are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Well, C.D., I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. So eight yards on the completion there, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Fields leaving it with Montgomery here on the option, and he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Now a first down throw, Fields. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. But in tapping those toes, he tried to get both in bounds. He could not do it, though. In tap dance parlance, could not complete the shuffle. All right, needed to get that shuffle down with both feet, not just one. Is that what they say? There it is. You know, put a little sand down on the stage. I'll take your word for it, my man. 14 yards in a Chicago first down. To throw his fields. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Dietrich Wise running through and dropping him for the sack. Remember, they had the nice gain on the previous play, but they just gave a lot of it back right there on that sack. Yeah, they get the sack, get back some real estate. Felt like the type of play that could spark a defense and swing some momentum. Almost felt like a take that type of a play, didn't it, partner? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. 
A read option. Here's Montgomery. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just... Uh, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Watching it for the shot, Matthew Judah. So that time, Charles, a uh, quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And this came from the edge, and those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though. And they could barely get a glove on it before he got the quarterback on the ground. As we check the next-gen stats, you'll see he had precious little time to do anything with the football there. Here's Jones on the return. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Patriots take over. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now, they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw. Jones. And this one complete to Smith. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Second quarter, two minutes remain. 3-0 our score. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. First and 10, it's Pierce. Angelo Black's in there to bring him down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Damian Pierce is such a fun guy to watch as a runner. He can make a guy miss one second and then power through a defender the next. Never had a 100-yard game while at Florida, but I expect more than a handful here in the NFL. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. To throw again on second down. Jones got this into the hands of the tight end, Jordan. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 35. Looking to throw. Jones. A quick throw, but incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives him a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. First down now, but that clock rolling. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Jones throwing on third and long. And it's caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Jarnell Mooney as the first half is winding down. And the Patriots have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads him right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. But a really nice drive. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Takes it at the 7. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. 
And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. To throw again on second down. Fields. Out of nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. A final shot before the break. Fields. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to air it out deep for Green. And that will be incomplete. They weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. So we've reached halftime here at Gillette Stadium with the Patriots on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin up at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, where it was the visiting Browns who were able to steal one on the road. Amari Cooper, a touchdown catch in the victory. From there, let's get over to the Rockies to check out the Broncos at home in Denver. And they were winners in their ball game as they were able to handle the visiting New York Jets. Russell Wilson, a very good performance as his guys run the record now to five and two. Finally, let's get to the desert to check on the Cardinals at home in Glendale. And they were losers in that ball game to the visiting New Orleans Saints. Jameis Winston, four touchdown passes in the victory. Moving on, let's take a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Bears. And they were able to have a little bit of success on the ground. The question will be, will they stick with it? Or will they be throwing more to try and regain this lead? Meanwhile, for the Patriots, you get a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And whatever they've done, it's worked, as they have the lead through two quarters of play. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. Fielded right around the eight. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So here are the Patriots to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and 10. Throwing to start the drive, Jones. And that is incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another error throw as a result. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Now Jones to throw on third down. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. He's going to have the first down and more than that. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. We know play callers can be very creative in this game today, but sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, less can become more, and it was right there. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. A run for Pierce out of the gun. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Those are the type of runs that we did not see from him in the first half, but a good start to the third quarter. And I know what everyone's thinking that's watching this. They did a great job adjusting it to half. 
oftentimes you don't make adjustments. You just dial into your game plan a little bit better, and maybe they're starting to make some headway. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Off play action. Jones, he's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Jarnell Mooney with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year, as his guys are able to extend their lead. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie, because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they have it right. Full connects on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. A drive that time of six plays, and finishing it all off was Darnell Mooney with the touchdown reception. now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They make their second half debut here. Things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that can make this a free possession game. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. A give to Montgomery out of the gun. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at him, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. From the 40 now on second down, Fields. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. So one quick easy analysis about why they struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Now Fields. Being under pressure again, and down he goes again. Dietrich Wise able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. Here's Brett Kern now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Here's Jones. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And they will take over first and 10. So the Patriots coming out now. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. 
obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Running it out of the gun with Pierce. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. The offense on third down tonight. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They're looking at third and a few inches. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. On second down, here's Pierce. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Jones now on third down. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. And the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. On first down, it's Fields. That's caught by Montgomery. And just not much to be had there. One yard out to the 10. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game. But I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. And now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them. Maybe to slow the pass rush down a little bit. And they can throw it downfield. Looking to throw again on second down. Fields. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. Fields on first down. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. To try again after the sack. Fields buying time to his left. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Fields. He's got a man complete. Down the numbers. There he goes. Touchdown, Chicago. 
Jacoby Myers, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bears have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Now Fields. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets them back within a field goal. So still a little work to do here, but they got the much-needed conversion. So they got that taken care of. Now you would assume onside kick in order to try and get the ball back again, in order to try and kick at least a tying field goal. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see him take all. Pierce has it knocked loose. And the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Jones gets the double up to Pierce. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Now Jones. This is Smith with a grab. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they will take a knee here. The Patriots in the victory formation as they'll take the knee. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Down to a knee goes Jones, and that should just about seal it. So what a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead. That home field advantage, I think it helped fuel all what happened for them down the stretch. A huge win.